Okay. It starts at two. Uh, it's already live. So we're just waiting. Right. I'm, okay. I'm just going to change my camera back over. Bye, okay. Bernie. But it's already live. Hi, hey, Joy. They can see and hear us. Right. <laughs> I didn't get round to stamping the sentiment, so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a drink. Tell me, Mum, I'm unstable today. <laughs> You're on old crumbs. Mine's like that very often. Mm. I better not spill this, I don't. So, are you raring to F go, Bernie? FYI, Stephanie and Bernie, we are already live on YouTube. It's already live on YouTube, just so you know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I saw that pop up. I'm just, I might leave and come back because it's telling me I'm unstable. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm unstable, but I don't need my computer to tell me that too. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, <coughs> Let me try out my other camera and tell me if it's in the right spot. Okay. And I'll do the same. Okay. It's not. Let me fix it. Tell me when. Yeah, come down a bit more, Tommy. Right. Are you in the are you in portrait or landscape mode? Because to me you're at the right hand side, your hands are the right. I see. That's it. Twist it round, yeah. <coughs> no, you've gone too far, your hands are at the left now. Put your hands down, then I can see you now. Okay. No, you still, you still, right, come round a bit more. There, that's. Yeah, but the camera's at a weird angle. It's not going to stay. It's... I'll check mine then and tell me if mine's in the right position. Okay, I think mine is now. It's kind of to the angle. But... Right. <laughs> It's mine in the right now. I'll be right back, okay? I'm going okay. to mute myself. I'll be right back. Okay. So, Bernie, it's morning for you. It, oh, Bernie's gone. I'm back. Right. Is it morning for you, Bernie? Yep, seven o'clock. I thought that when I was trying to work it out when I said this morning, I thought it's morning for you, it's evening for me. Yep. <laughs> and it's midday for the girl. <laughs> and we're all over the shop. Yeah, we are, definitely. But it's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's good that we've got that difference. I think it's absolutely brilliant, you know, when you think about it, we're all over the world and yet we can all get together, can't we? Yeah, and you make it, you just work and make it fit for yourself rather than, do, yeah. yeah, if it doesn't yeah. work, it doesn't work. No. <laughs> Are you all ready for Christmas? No. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying. Uh, I've still got to work out what I've got to get, what I'm getting the kids for Christmas. So it gets harder because they've they've got everything. So I just I was don't know. Say yeah, once once you start looking and, and there's really not a lot you can get them. They seem to have everything, don't they? Yeah. But we'll go to my son's for a few days, so we'll work it out. Yeah. He's um oh, two hours away. Oh, so it's not driving. Too bad. No. Right. 
Yeah, our, our, uh, one of our sons only lives half an hour away and the other one lives about an hour and a quarter, so it's not too bad. Yeah. I look over my son's for a few days, so we'll work it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, well, two hey. hours away. I've got to Somebody's oh, got their... Never mind. I muted you. I'm going to mute because that was... I said that about... Five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I thought yes, that is echo. Somebody hey, had me. Somebody had YouTube on. Uh, um, hi, Joni. Continue. Oh, there I go. Oh, we're live. We're live uh, already, Johnny. It's already live on YouTube. There I go. Oh, we're live. We're live already, Johnny. Yes, I know. Yes, I already know. Okay. Are we supposed to be working on our cards now? No. Oh, no, okay. we, no, we're just trying to get it sorted out a bit, Johnny, to be <laughs> a okay. bit more organized. Who else is here? Bernie? Yes, Bernie's here, yep. Okay. Nope, nobody else. I know Where's Roxanne that? Is it Linda Roxanne. at? I think Linda's coming and Roxana's coming. We're supposed to be working on our cards now? No. Okay. okay. No, we're just trying to get it sorted out a bit, Jody. Okay. I'm going to get more organized. Let's see here. If you've got YouTube on or another device, you'll need to cut it off. I know, but I can't figure out how to get off of here. Hi, Janet. Hi. <laughs> We're already live on YouTube. We're waiting for time to start. Hi, Janet. Hi. I didn't know all the trouble you people go through beforehand making all the pieces and cutting them all out. That's a lot of work. We enjoy it though, don't we, Tommy? Yes. <laughs> Well, glasses. What'd you say? Look at you with your stylish glasses. Yeah, they, they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Oh. <laughs> because my real glasses, you know, my, my prescription glasses, I can't see up close with them. Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't get bifocals? I did, but they don't work good, so. Oh. oh. Or either I can't see. Put, they say point your nose where you want to see. It don't work for me, so 
I just wear these until, you know, they work. I wish I could afford that just to do that. Me too. <laughs> I just got new glasses, so. <laughs> Are we recording this today too, or I yes. guess on YouTube, so it would be okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what size is the base that we're starting out with? Eight, eight and a half by five and a half. No, That's eight by 5.5 five five by 11. Sorry. Yeah, it's a five and a half inch square card. So you obviously your base piece is um, 11 by five and a half. So when you score it in half, you right okay but it's got lots of other bits it's like you cutting yours out now bernie yeah right, I'm, I'm done are you cutting yours out now Joni? yeah yeah well if you cut a piece out that is 11 inches long by five and a half inches wide uh-huh and then you want to cut another piece again at five keep it at the 11 cut it at five cut it at five and a half inches wide and cut that in half so you've got two squares of five and a half inches okay. so you'll have you'll have one piece that's 11 inches by five and a half inches and um, then you'll have two pieces that are five and a half inches square exactly. and that's right. that is your base card that'll be your base card right all right thank you but we're not going to rush, are we, Tammy? We're just going to take our time. Yeah, and... let's. We'll take our time so everybody. Yeah, can... so you're not worrying. Well, as usual, I'm having computer. For some reason, I didn't want to download this file. I I couldn't understand it. So it always happens to me. It usually happens to me. <laughs> always me. <laughs> Workspace. I'm going to get my cutter. Just about that time.
Well, it's showtime, ladies. All right. Let me let Linda and Roxana in. So we've had a couple people have been commenting on YouTube. Um, I don't think you can see it. Can you, Tammy? So I'll no, because you. if I turn it on, it'll make stuff noise. Yeah, up. so I didn't have it Dana on. Dana said F-O-H, F-Y-I. I'm not sure what F-V-O-H means. What's that mean? I have to know. <laughs> and Bonnie said hello. Kim hey, said Bonnie. hi. Sorry I'm late, but you're not late, Kim. They weren't starting until 3. <laughs> and it's just now 3.01, so they're about ready to get started. How many of you guys out there have already cut out all your stuff and are ready to follow along? Hey, Linda, I didn't see you sneak in. And Roxanne is there. <laughs> Roxanne, did you cut out your stuff? Ah, pardon. Ah. <laughs> Sounds like that's me. what I say. <laughs> <laughs> it's like overwhelming. There's too many pieces. If it's yeah. more than three, it's too many. <laughs> I only cut out this many, so I'm just going to watch, and then I'm going to watch the replay and put it together. Oh, so you probably that. got well, not that yeah. part cut out. <laughs> my base I, ended up being about a quarter of an inch shorter because I didn't get my paper. I crooked wow. my paper, didn't line up right at the end. So, <laughs> like, uh, I've got a tip on how to cut that out using your cameo your silhouette if you want to so that you don't have to worry about it cutting your size down i don't have a silhouette i have my cricket oh okay but yeah, should, so. well i don't know i don't know how that will work but in um on the cameo the way i get it to cut at eight and a half you know cut at 11 since my card stock's eight and a half by 11 right. i don't want it to cut the 11 part so i make my mat size eight and a half by 11 then i hang the ends of each piece of my card stock that's 11 off of each end and because it's over the cut line it won't cut it so it just cuts your sides so you score it and it cuts the sides and you got your i need a one-on-one class <laughs> all right uh, you guys I, ready to start i don't have the skill as you guys have <laughs> well so, if you guys are ready me, to start we want to spotlight so, who you who's starting them uh, we can do both at the same yeah. time oh okay good show me <laughs> okay i'm gonna spotlight you first steph Right, okay, then I'll Lynn, I'll change my camera over so that you can see okay. what I'm doing. And okay. now I'll add myself to the spotlight. And there we are. Perfect. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> so Steffi and I are going to take our other cameras and put them on so y'all can see us working. So it'll be easier to show you how to put the card together. And maybe. And it is quite easy, honestly. <laughs> And it really is. It, it so, sounds complicated, but, but I promise you it's not. I'm going to mute myself, but if you guys have any questions who are watching on YouTube, just post them in the chat and I'll ask the questions of the ladies. Okay. Okay. Do you, want, do you want me to start with the base then, Tammy? And then. Okay. Let me, let me uh, share this. We, we sent the file out. It's on Patreon. All you have to do is go to Patty's pa Patty Ann's Place Patreon page. No, she'll share the link. Patty can share her link to Patreon in the YouTube video or under it, maybe. It, it's a free, it's public, so it's free to anyone. You don't have to be a member to get the file. So we cut the, we cut, a lot of us used our machines to cut it out. But if you happen to have your trimmer, and a scoreboard, and that's how you want to do it. Stephanie's going to share those measurements with you. So go ahead, Stephanie. Okay, because I didn't cut mine out on the machine. I just cut it out on the guillotine. So I thought maybe, you know, some people wouldn't have um, a machine to do it. So we're starting off just with a piece of base card, which is 11 inches in length by five and a half inches deep. And if you're scoring it, all you're going to do, your first score is going to be two and three quarter inches. So you've got the long, the long length across your, your scoreboard and you're going to score it 
at two and three quarters. That's your first score line. When you've done two and three quarters, your next one is five and a half, which obviously is half of your card size. Okay, so the first score line is two and three quarters. The second one is five and a half. Now you can do it at eight and a quarter, but I don't like to have too many measurements in my head. So I've done two and three quarters, five and a half, and I just flip it the whole way back around and do two and three quarters again. But you can do it at eight and a half if you want. My scoreboard's only small anyway. So it would be two and three quarters, five and a half, and eight and a quarter, or you can do two and three quarters, five and a half, flip it round and do two and three quarters again. I hope that makes sense. I don't see any questions, so I'm guessing that everybody got it. Everybody's that. done that. Okay. Now I'm going to move my scoreboard and show you what you do next. So you should have three score lines on your card. And all you're going to do is get your card and the one that's at the five and a half half inch, you're going to fold it in half on your score line. And then when you've done that, you're going to fold it, the other two backwards, so that you'll end up with an M. So you've got a fold here. And Tammy will show you because she's already done. You've got yours, have you, Tammy, there to show yeah, them how and, and I was going to say, too, for the people that's cut theirs out, because when you cut with the machine, it only wants you to fold one way a lot of times. So especially if you use thicker card. So what I've done is, is I took my score tool and I flipped it around and I scored on the back on the ones that I wanted to fold the opposite way so that it would fold easy. Now, if your card stock's not too thick, it'll it'll fold pretty good without doing that. But mine was pretty thick. Okay. So. Yeah, mine's not too thick. So what you're going to do, so when you fold it at the five and a half mark, that's obviously halfway. So the card's going to be folded in half. And then the, the two outer ones, you're going to fold them back on themselves. So they go like that. So what you're going to do is make... Valley folds out of the two on the end. The one in the center is going to be a mountain fold. And so yeah. you're just going to have the cards going to be put to the base is going to be together like this. Tammy, Tammy, yes, can you move this over to the right a little bit? We're not yeah. seeing. There you go. So you're going to have the two on the end is going to come in. The one in the center is going to fold up and into a mountain, and you're going to have this. And so if you let it go, it'd be like an M or a W. So then so when, you need, huh? Yeah, you go and tell them now, they need the two pieces, the two five pieces. So next, you're going to need the two five and a half by five and a half pieces that was labeled front and back base. It'd be two five and a half by five and a half. Uh, the, co the colored paper? No, it'll be your base. Your It'll be the same color as your base. Oh, okay. okay. So, Steph, tell them what to do with it. And now, when you folded it like this, the end pieces that are here, you're going to put one, you're going to glue one onto the front and one onto the back. But all you're doing is actually pushing your glue on these end pieces so you've got one at the back and one at the front you're not going to put glue on at a time you're not going to put glue on anything else but just that one panel so you so if you open it up and you just glue one piece at a time And just put it up to it. But if you stand it up like that as well, that means you'll you'll get it level at the bottom. So I tend to sort of stand it like that so that you that it's level. And at the bottom as well, tap it so that you're making sure that you get it level. And 
and then do exactly the same on the other side. So you've got a back panel and you've got a front panel. When you've done that, just glue this one. Uh, Kim asked, what weight cardstock do you recommend for this project? Is it in, in the States or the UK? I think Kim is in the States. Because we go by um, grams per square inch, and I'm not sure pound weight. So I would say good base card. So it would be 250 GSM to 300. So is that about 120 pounds for you? I'm not sure. No, uh, uh, the, the this I have here is 300 GSMs, and right. it is 125 uh Wait a minute, I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Stephanie. It'd be 125 pounds. It's about 100. It's not, I'm not 100 percent sure. It's like you want you want it doesn't have to be really thick, but you want one that's sturdy enough to to sort of stand up you know, the card that you would use for base card. And Tammy, you like to buy yours off of Amazon, right? We can put I a did. link for that later. Okay, yeah, we'll put it in your store. And uh, I, I recently found one that I changed to that's really, really good. It's real thick, so, you know, you have to uh, cut it more than once. You know, on my cameo, I have to go around more than once but it makes really, really good card bases. Okay, can we back up for a minute? Yes. Is that five by fives that you put on the Mountain Valley one? The five by five doesn't have a score. You no, put it on the end of your, um, your other card where the two end pieces. Show us, Steph, have you got right, your so Sorry, it's glued together now, but you had a piece of card, um, Roxana, that when you folded it up, it was like an M. And if you can see the actual line where my score, that's the score and the score for that. So this five by five is stuck on the front of it. So all I've done is glued this little panel and stuck this on the outside of it and done exactly the same on this one, glued the panel and stuck it on the outside of it. So you end up, with this piece is stuck up in the middle. Okay, because the white parts are the ones that I didn't get finished, so I need two five by fives. That's what I was asking for. Yeah. So yeah, so you 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 started off with a piece that's eleven inches by five and a half inches deep. You've scored it at two and three quarters, at five and a half, and eight and a quarter, and then folded it up. And then you just want two pieces of five and a half square. And they, you're gluing those to the outside, one on the front and one on the back. Does that make sense? Yes. Is everybody else okay? Are we on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, Stephanie. Yeah. So when you've got it, when it's closed, it just looks like a five by five card. But when you open it up, you've got this panel that's in the middle. So does your five by five go all the way up to the crease of the mountain in the middle? No, it only no. goes to that first score line. Yeah, so can you see, Roxanne, it's open. It's just gluing onto this each end panel. You know, the two and, a, two and three quarter panel and the one at the other side. So this actually stays open. So if it would help, maybe one of you could sacrifice one of your cards and draw some lines on it or something. Would that help them yeah. to see? 
If you use the marker or something. I have an old one here yet. Hold on a minute. Okay. I'll do this one and then you can see. I've got an old one here that I was messing with earlier on. Uh, right, let me get a pen and then be able to see properly. Or a pencil. Bear with me. Can you see my pencil marks now, Roxana? Yeah. Right, so this is the original piece, not these. This is the original piece of card, which was 11 inches by five and a half. And it was scored in the middle and scored at quarter west, so to two and three quarters and eight and a quarter, which made, if we ignore those pieces there, in fact, what I'll do, and then it'll make it even easier for you, if I cut these back off, then you'll be able to see. It's a bit, obviously, it's not accurate because I'm doing this, but. I guess what okay. I'm trying to figure out is where, you know, yeah, yeah are you this gluing is, them yeah. all the way up or just to the very edges or what? I can't yeah, see so if, if this if this is your piece of card that you've started with and you, you scored it, and you've got sort of an M shape. Oops, there. What you're doing with your proper pieces of card, um, let me have a look. Oh, I'll use this one of the panels and you can see, because this is as near as I'm at a five and a half. So when you've done it, you've started with this, which is the piece that's open like that. You've folded it up and that folded piece is in the middle. This is the piece that's gonna go, pretend that this is your base card. That is the piece you're going to stick on the front of it. And it's just going to glue onto this piece here. And then you're sticking it onto there like that. Then you're going to flip it over. And this is the back. You're going to do the same again. You're only gluing the outside quarters. You're not touching anything in the middle. Just those outside pieces. And then putting your card stock on and gluing it on. That will give you then this so so i don't need white squares then only my printed ones <laughs> sorry i said i thought that we had to have five by five white squares you did. Yeah. yeah five and a half yeah you do this is the panel for inside i was just showing you just as an example because i haven't got another i haven't got another white square yeah it's just five and a half inch squares to stick on the front and the back, but you only glue this quarter, the front quarter and the back quarter, and you're sticking them on top of it like this so that that piece that's folded up in the middle stays folded up. It's not glued up, but it's the, it's the bit that's, when you've done it, it actually sticks out like this because that's the piece that we're going to join things to. Thanks, Steph. I think I got it now. You, yeah, so it's that, and then you're just gluing one five and a half on the front, one five and a half on the back. So it needs to butt up to this outer edge, Roxana, so that because that's the outer edge of your card. So it's booking, butting, butting up to there, so that when you open it, that's your card there. Okay, I keep forgetting to hit the button. Okay, so is everybody okay? Everybody else okay with that? Yep. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is you're going to get your mat that you made that's five by five, five and a half by five and a half. And you're going to go ahead and put that mat on the inside of your card, covering everything except the piece that sticks up. So you're going to put it on this side and this side, but not here.
How's everybody doing? Okay. Yep. Good. We should make everybody hold theirs up to show us. <laughs> well, I'm hoping they will when they've done them. All right, but Joni, that's... you get a star. <laughs> I show it. Joni putting hers up in Chinese. Let's have a look, Joni. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Linda's going to show hers, I think. I think I chose the wrong paper for doing this. It's that bright, bright you can't see it properly. It's beautiful. Is this covering the the flat side or the one with the where the it covers lines are? It, it with, covers both. It's five and a half by five and a half, so it should no, be. No, no, no. The one side's got where we. It's only got the the glue line, and that one's the flat side. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Bernie. Me either. Sure. Um, there's the W. So yeah. where we joined it, I've got, like, I can see that line there. But inside, I've got smooth, the five and a half. So on the outside of your card, it should look like this. Just the, because you glued it on the inside. So you're going to cover where it was glued together. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're going to cover yeah. that. Yeah, so I've got it folded the wrong way. That's okay. But actually, Bernie, it wouldn't really matter if you folded the wrong way. It wouldn't really matter because when you put the front piece on, that would cover it up exactly like okay. the inside okay. one would. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and get it out, the next piece we're going to use are what we call the tubes. They'll be scored in three places so you'll have a tube like this tammy i'm just thinking before they do that do you think they're better doing this the the uppy bit first oh yeah definitely got ahead of myself yeah because i'm just thinking because the tube's got to glue onto that so yeah obviously. i got ahead of myself <laughs> so you're going to need your two pieces that are the they were called the center mat or the middle mat and they're going to go on the part that's standing up. So these are the pieces that were five and a half inches. By, was it two and a half? Yes. These yeah. are pieces that are five and a half inches by two and a half inches. And as Tammy said, these are the ones that are going to fit in this part that's sticking up. But obviously lay it flat while you, while you glue it so it's much easier. And that lets you line up with the, the outer one because the five and a half inch is exactly the same. So at least you can look and make sure that you've got the gap at the top and the bottom is the same. Everybody's really quiet, concentrating, aren't okay. they?
So, are we ready for the next step? I think so. If everybody, if everybody's finished, so obviously they're going to have to score them if they haven't scored them. I haven't scored mine, Tammy. So, okay, we'll go ahead. So now she's going to show you if you're scoring with the scoreboard where to score this tube, which measures. Stephanie, do you remember? The measurements for the tube are five, five, four inches deep. By five inches wide. Yep. What was so I'll get my I'll get my scoreboard again. It's a piece two pieces of part cardstock. There are they're four high and five wide. So you're going to put the five inch side onto your scoreboard and you're going to score it at one and a quarter. at two and a half, and at three and three quarters. So I'll read those again. So you've got a piece of cardstock, it is five inches wide by four inches deep, and you're going to score it at one and a quarter inches, two and a half inches, and three and three quarter inches. So that will give you four, even one and a quarter inch little blocks. You're going to do that on both of them. I've done one. So again, it's lining it up with the five inch across the top. And you're going to go at one and a quarter. Two and a half. And three and three quarters. And then when we've done that, we're going to fold it and burnish on all the score lines. As Tammy said, that will give you a, a little chew, but we're going to do it flat in a minute. When you've done that and you've done all your scores, Fold it back in half because this is going to be the easiest way to put the pieces on. Instead of having it as a tube, just, just fold it in half. When you've folded it in half, you've got the length there, which is four inches. And the width across here is the five or two and a half. And you've got, you should have two little pieces, uh, two little pieces for each one. They should be the, they're the little panels that are an inch, an inch wide. And I'm not sure whether an inch wide and it was four inches. I think it's three and three quarters that we did it, but I can't remember yeah. that because I'm gonna know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is three and three quarters. So you should have four four of these little panels that are one inch wide and three and three quarters deep. And what you're going to do, you're going to glue them not on you, where it's folded. You're going to glue it on the centre two panels, not because these two on the outside are going to be glued down so you won't see them. So you're going to put your little panels on the centre two. Okay. 
Does that make sense? Yes. How's everybody doing? Everybody ready? A little bit. Yep. What did you say, Linda? I'm a little behind. Okay, while well, Linda catches up, anybody know a joke? Oh, oh well. <laughs> I know one thing, you have a whole new appreciation for somebody that does this all the time. Right, Stephanie? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I couldn't find my shaker um, bits today, so I found another packet and they've got um, red, green, and white, and I only want white. So afterwards, I'm going to shake these out. I'm going to pick all the white ones out. Because <laughs> the red and green ones won't go with my card. Did you just uh, explain, I have the five inch by four inch um, rectangles done and scored. You've scored them. Thank you, darling. So you want to take your mats that's one inch by four inch and you want to put it on the two center pieces of the score the, the part that's when you make a tube those two are the only pieces going to show the other ones are going to be glued down so the two center tiles that are when you scored that's where your that's where your mats are going to be Okay, I'll let me do that. I don't know if you can see this container. It's it's about it's about four inches square and inch and a half deep, and it's full of little sequins. And when that, and when the um, when Molly was here last week, um, she was getting something off the shelf, and she knocked it. And trust me, they go <gasps> all over the room. She Everywhere. Got she picked every single one of them up, but it was the worst container she could have dropped. And she just stood there and she went, oh, as if to say, I don't know what to do now. And I said, well, we're going to have to get down and pick them all up. But 
they just spread everywhere. <laughs> they roll, they roll about everywhere, don't everywhere. they? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Molly. But at least she picked them all up. Oh, uh, she did. <laughs> it was, it was quite far. I wanted to, I wanted to laugh, but her face was just, oh my gosh, what have I done? Oh. <laughs> It was sharp. Hey, Bernie. <laughs> Bernie. Pardon? Did you give her the um, mini album yet? Yeah, that was to Zara. Yep. She, she she said it was her favourite present. Oh, bless her. That's brilliant. She's already added things because I didn't have a photo in there of myself. So she took a photo of her and I and put it in and the dog. And now oh, she's, yeah, she had a, thought it was lovely. That's the best part that she did that. And it's fabulous because it's something she'll always remember that you did for her. Yeah, and she'll just care. And that's why I said she can just, so none of the photos were stuck down. They were just in where you could stick them inside of, you know, things sticking yeah. up or in pockets. So she can just keep changing them all the time. Yeah, which is brilliant. So, Steph, you want to go ahead and show how to put one of the tubes in? Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Go ahead. You can. Okay. So, and then you, all, you do it. <laughs> are, you, are you okay, Linda, now? Thank you for asking. I'm, I'm, I'm putting on the little panels now. Okay. Everybody else okay? Right. Maybe. By the, by the way, everybody, Carmen just said, hey. Everybody. Oh. Hey, Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Dee. And D said hello. And let's hey, Dee. Hi, Dee. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> right. Before I stick this in, my my um, layer of card on the top hasn't got a right or wrong way around. But if you put a paper in that has, then you're obviously wanting to make sure that my trees are the right, you know, they have. But if this had got something, you want to make absolutely sure before you stick it down that this is the right the right side up. You know, you, you're looking which is the front of your card. So you don't want to put these panels in and then find they're upside down. Okay, so what you do next is you fold this in half. And we're just going to glue one part at a time, not both of them. So you're just going to get your glue and your glue is only going on that first quarter, not where you not where you put your um, pattern paper, just going to glue it. And obviously it'll probably take um, probably a minute or something like that to glue it completely, unless you've got really quick grab glue. Mine does allow me to sort of move things a bit rather than one that you stick down and then the crumbs I'll stick it down and and it's not in the right place. It just gives me the opportunity. So all you're doing is folding this tube in half and you're putting glue on this one quarter. And then you, you're lining it up inside of your card here and you're butting it as far up as it'll go. So it's actually butting right up to the fold. And then look roughly where you want it to be, roughly centre so that you know what you're doing. And once you're happy with the position, you're holding it in place, making sure it's in the centre. You're going to go like that. You pushed it up to make sure it's up to it, and then you're going to push that down. I will have to hold it for a few seconds because it's no good letting go until you know that you, your glue has grabbed. You know, so, say some, some glues grab quicker than others, and, and I've done it before. It's not a really quick grab glue, and then you open it up, and it's not stuck down, and you've got to start all over again. So it's worth just doing it for that few seconds. Is yours glued, Tammy? It is. The, in the wintertime, this um, art glitter glue, it dries pretty fast. It have, dries. Yeah, you have more leeway with it, I think, when it's summertime. So that, I think that glue is glued now. So now I'm going to open it up. So obviously it's glued flat. So it's only glued on that one piece. So when you open the card up, you're going to do the same on this side. So that piece glued onto the center piece. Now when I open it up, this piece that glues is going to glue onto the back of the card. 
So you're doing exactly the same again, just putting the glue on that panel, the back panel, the back quarter. This has got no paper, no pattern paper, it's just the plain card stock. Glue that up. And then this time you're going to fold the back of your card too. And leave it again. I mean, Tammy, will, you'll be able to see Tammy's because Tammy's will grab quicker than mine. So when she opens it up, you'll see it will form a tube. So mine's dry. Yeah, Tam, Tammy's has worked perfect, hers is dry. And mine now is dry. So when you open it up, you can see Tammy's better than mine because it's not shiny. You've got a little, you've got a little tube inside. So now you're going to do exactly the same on the other side. You're going to get it folded in half. Line it up to that centre panel, and, and, and I'm only doing it by eye. Some people probably would measure, but you're looking to see if you can get it roughly in line with where the other one is. I think that looks about right. Just, it's worth just taking a little bit of time just to make sure you've got it roughly where you think it's going to be. I think I'm happy with that there. So again, it's butted right up to that centre panel. Put your glue. And it's butted up as far as it can go. And this time, just fold the whole card back over. Glue it, hold it down again. So Tammy's is, is uh, I think, obviously a quicker grab glue than mine. So, but it's worth spending that little bit longer to make absolutely sure that it is stuck. Then you're not having to sort of redo it all again. Oh yeah. Your nails are so pretty. Sorry? Said your nails look so pretty. Thank you very much. <laughs> she probably did them right before we came live, right? <laughs> no, do you know, I normally do, but I went out for lunch with some friends on, um, on Monday. So I did my nails and I put a top coat to sort of seal them and they stayed on better, so they're okay this time. <laughs> I knew she wasn't talking to me because I cut mine off. Right, so now when you open it up again, you've got a panel that's actually stuck down and you're going to do exactly the same again on the other side. Do that. Just on the outer panel, hold it down and then press the card closed. Tammy, look, Tammy looks fabulous. There's a both done. Turn yeah. around, Tammy. <laughs> then we can see properly because that looks great. You can really see yours. Mine's a bit shiny. So my pattern paper came from Creative Fabric. I think, I'm not sure, but I think she, Patty shared the link for it. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I think the link for that one is in all the, where all the links are. The only thing I did different is I, in silhouette, on the centerpiece, I scaled the snowflakes down. So I just scaled it down so there wasn't so big. That's really a pretty color of blue. It's a gorgeous color, isn't it? She's done it really nice. Right, so I that's used what the hue to make it that color. It came in like a pale, uh, like a green color, and I use the hue to turn it the blue that I wanted. Go ahead, Steph. Right, so yours turned out brilliant. So that, that's how it should look now when you, you cut it together. So hopefully you've all got tubes now. 
<laughs> How's everybody doing? Looks good, Joni. Oh, brilliant. Good girl, Joni. Fab. She gets her second yeah, scarf. Linda as well. Yeah. Linda. Brilliant. Roxana. Linda, let's see. Oh, I had a glued, but it glued to my side of my hub. So now I got a big gob of paper. Yeah, Brittany Linda's done as well. Oh, brilliant. Janet, that looks good. Yeah. Bernie. Awesome. Oh, fab. Patty, are you hiding yours? <laughs> I think Patty was going to watch and put it together after. Afterwards, that, yeah. That's okay, right. She's... I'm just watching and I'm manning the camera. Yeah, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay, so the next piece you're going to get is going to be called, uh, what is it called, Stephanie? What do we call it on the file? Side panels. Yeah, the side panels. They're going to look like this, and one's going to say left, and one had said right. But Stephanie will make hers and show where to score. But I, the measurements are, let me see if I can get, I don't have it pulled up. It is four and a half wide, uh, long by three. So you're going to need a piece four and a half, well, depending on how you turn it, four and a half wide by three inches long. And Stephanie will show you where to score it. And again, you can get all these pieces and measurements uh, in the Patreon um, post that I did that's free on my Patreon page, just patreon.com slash Patty M. And even if you don't use the silhouette, if you have the free version of silhouette, you could open it in there and you could see the sizes that you need to make it. Okay, so these are the side panels. And as Tammy said, they're four and a half inches long by three inches deep. And I'll just get my scoreboard and then you can- And one thing real quick, they're labeled left and right. But all the only difference, they're the exact same. It's just when you put them on, when you go to put them, when you, I'm telling the computer and not here, but when you go to put them on, the small side needs to be on the inside of each. So you're going to have to turn one of them the opposite way so that when you put them on, the part that folds will be on the other end and the part that's a single score line will be against there. That's why they're labeled left and right. But it's just the same exact piece. You just turn one the opposite way. So go Are ahead, Kate. Where that one? Sorry? Where do you score the four by three inch pieces? Right, so we're going to, we're going to, do, we're going to do it now this time. So it's four and a half inches long by three inches deep. And you're going to score it. You just move my chair up. You're going to score it at half an inch. I'm going to find my half inch marker. Half an inch and one inch. And then on the other side, you're just going to score it at four inches. So when you've done it, you've got scored at half an inch, one inch, and at four inches. As Tammy said, so what you're ending up with is one piece, one side that's got a half inch fold, the other that's got a half inch fold, and another half inch fold. So it makes sort of like half a tube. As Tammy showed you on there. And if you were using a patterned paper instead of using the white card stuff, because Tammy said, you would then have to make sure that you, you flipped it and it, you did it the other way around. But because we're using white card stock, we can do this. But when we come to put on what we put on, it doesn't matter. We can just turn it over because it's just a plain piece of card. But obviously, if you were doing it with a pattern, you would have to do it the opposite way around. So you've got two pieces and you want to score again at half an inch. at one inch and at four inches. And then when you've done that, you're going to burnish them. Your score lines. And as you see, you can see with Tammy, she's got them now into the shape that's going to fit on. So I'll, I'll just 
burnish mine now. You can see, like Tammy, I've got one that's just got half, just one score line. And on this one, this has got two, and this is the piece that's going to fit on the outside. As Tammy said, you've got this little fold that sort of comes round like that. That's going to be the outside. This one is going to butt up to your card, the one that's got the single one on there. And I don't know, Tammy, about you, but when we've done this, I prefer to put my um, pattern paper on before I stick it on, because if you, if you try to stick it on before you've done it, there's Perhaps. nothing underneath. You can't press up to anything, can you? So yeah. you've, done, you've done that. So you can actually just open it up now, lay it flat, and you and should have map pieces. You two and three quarter square of patterned paper. Hey, Joni. Um, Bonnie just said that the post would not open for her. Could I post it again? Did you finally get your files to open? I think Joni said that you emailed it to her. Because well, she couldn't get it to open. I, She's yes, muted. I did do that. She's muted herself. So hold okay. down your space bar. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. No, I cannot get it on my regular computer, but I got my uh, laptop out and it downloaded it. So I don't know what the scoop is on. I couldn't figure it out. But I, okay. the files that I downloaded from Fabrica was fine. But I don't know if it has something to do with my cloud storage. I'm not sure. Okay, thanks. What size um, designer paper are you putting in that um, four by four and a half by three inch rectangles? The pattern paper for the set for the center is uh, two and three quarters square because the actual center piece, Linda, is three inches. So it's just two and three quarters. So you've got a white border the whole way around because it's four inches, but you've got an inch on this side scored and half an inch, so it leaves you with a three inch square. So the pattern paper is two and three quarters, so you've got a little border the whole way around. Thank you. And as I say, at this point, mine is not a pattern, mine isn't a pattern paper that's directional. It's yours, Tammy. Yes, yeah, right, so, yeah, so you explain, you've done it to make sure that you've got it the right way around, yeah. haven't you? So what I've done is I wait until I have the thing made and start to put it on and make sure that I've got the left and the right in the right place. And then I put my paper on so that it's right. Is everybody doing okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay, are you ready to move on? Thumbs up, thumbs up if you are. Okay, they're ready. I didn't see Roxanna's thumb. I did. <laughs> Just go ahead. I'm behind, so I don't want to hold you guys up. Go ahead. How about Janet? Did she give us a thumbs up? Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. And Wendy, we can't see you. <laughs> right, do you want to do this bit, Tammy? No, go ahead. You explain okay. it to me. Okay. okay, so right, we've got the card base now, and we've got these tubes. So what we want to do now is put these little panels next to them. 
And as we just said, you've got one side that has got just one piece and the other that has got two. You're going to butt, the one that's only got a half inch score is going to be butted up against here. But how you're going to do it is this. I'll turn my card around and then hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So this is going, this that's only got a half inch is going to butt up to this tube. And this is going to be the bit that goes on the outside. But you're not going to push it like that. You're going to do it flat. And it does make it a lot easier. So again, like the other way, you're just going to put glue on this half inch piece here. And then when you've got it, you're going to look and see where you think is, is going to be right. Sort of, you know, roughly where yours is going to fit. Put it right up to the tube. Can you see how I've done it? I've put it right up to the tube and then just go like that, bring it down. And again, you're going to hold it until it glues. Is yours glued, Tammy? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, when it's glued, I'm just making sure mine is because it doesn't glue quite as quick. As you can see, it's actually glued and it's stuck to the panel now. Okay, you can see. What you're going to do with the other side, it's got an inch, two half inch, but you are only going to put glue on the, on the outer half inch. Don't put it on the second one because this is the bit when it's done that will actually stand up. So all you want to do is put glue on the very outer one, the out a half an inch, that's all. And then you're going to fold that under. Okay, so we'll go like that. So I've only got glue, just literally on that very half inch, not on this piece. Then what you're going to do is actually fold it in, so that the, the whole inch is folded in. So all you left, all you can see is the blue card. If it's folded under, and while it's folded under, you're going to bring that round down like that. So you can see that. So I've actually folded it under completely. I've only glued the outer bit, and then stuck it down. And again, go like that until you're, you're happy with it that it that it's glued. And when it opens up, because you've only glued the very outside half an inch, like Tammy you'll get that other little half an inch which stands up. And even though I know it's probably stuck, I always take my scoring thing and just slide it there to make sure. That's a good idea, Tammy. You want to turn it yeah. the same thing. Yeah. So hopefully you should have a panel that's like that. So it, it's only glued on that one little piece and the other piece stands, stands proud. Okay, so when we've done that, we're gonna turn it round and do exactly the same with the next one. So again, you want the one that's only got half an inch, that's going to butt up to here. You want the one that's got the inch, the two half inches on the outside. So again, just gluing on that half an inch piece. Okay. And then look roughly where you're going to put it. Um, I don't measure, I suppose you could do, but I'm not going to go to that extent. So you're butting it up as close as you can. You're trying to line it up so you make sure that you're reasonably even with the other one. And once you butt it up completely and you're happy with the position it's in, you're going to push that down. You can push the whole lot down again and do exactly the same. And 
right, that's glued. So once you're happy that it's glued and it's stuck down, again, you're going to do the same again. The very outside half inch, not the inch, just the half inch. Glue it again. Well, it's just the half inch that's glued, but I'm going to fold the whole inch in. So it's folded under. And again, come down, fold it, push that down. Look at Tammy's, they're brilliant. How are we doing? Thumbs up if good, thumbs down if wait a minute, and thumbs to the side if eh. <laughs> Roxanna White, she said, thumbs down. Well, we saw her do the thumbs to the th side. And, eh. <laughs> and Danny said thumbs up. When I was a teacher, we I used to do that. Thumbs up, thumbs down, or to the side was, eh, I'm okay. Once you've done it a couple of times, it, it, it's a lot easier. Once you've done yes. it a couple of times, they're really easy to do. It's that first time you do it and you're folding everything in and trying to make sure it's lined up. But you only need to do a couple. And after that, I think it's, I think it's a really easy card to make, yet it looks quite effective. How many people thought looking at all those pieces was a little overwhelming? All the pieces that made up. I see hands going up. <laughs> Linda, you didn't because you're used to it, huh? <laughs> so while we're uh, waiting, uh, you know, you can make this any kind of card you want to. It doesn't have to be a Christmas card. It could be anything, birthday whatever and how you decorate it is optional you can put whatever you want in it so I took a little piece of card and made me a snow hill and embossed it and I'm going to sit that on top of there for my little penguin to sit on so he's sitting on a snow hill and thanks to Tammy, I've done the same because I didn't on the first one. I said, that's a brilliant idea. So I've done the exact same thing as Tammy. I was really pleased that she said that to me. Oh, Wendy's watching and then she's going to, to do it after. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a brilliant idea, Tammy, with the, the snow effect. I'm glad you told me that. Oh, good. Well, I learned how to cut me a snow hill from Patty because I looked everywhere, was trying to find some SVG for my snow hill, but Patty showed me how she done it on a long time ago. I don't even know if she remembers showing me, but showing us, but just ripping. And do you rip it towards you so you get the rough edge as well? I didn't. I took my scissors and just cut. Because if you if you tear it towards you, it gives a rough edge, you know, sort of like. Yeah. So are you going to decorate the inside now or go to the front? Which one do you do, Stephanie? Um, I don't mind. What, what does everybody else think? Are they, what do are, think? They, are they all okay? You want to finish the inside and then do the shaker on the outside? We'll leave it, we'll leave it up to the ladies and see what they want to do. Yep. See which way they want to go. Thumbs up if you want to do the, finish the inside. Janet said yeah. The, the other three are ignoring them three are ignoring us. I think I read <laughs> Linda's lips before and she there said There she goes. Yes. <laughs> 
Johnny, did you say yes? Because I can't see everybody at one time. I have to scroll the bar across. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I think if you decorate inside, it's giving you a little bit of light relief rather than go straight onto the shaker, do you think? <laughs> So this is where we'll decide what penguins are. I'm putting penguins in mine. Me too. It'll just give everybody a little bit of, um, you know, just playing about a little bit of light relief, doesn't it? Rather than having to, um, before we start doing the shake a bit. Which images did you get, Tammy? I did this little guy right here with a Christmas tree. Oh, I've got him. And then I did this little guy right here with his little trumpet. Ain't that a trumpet? Uh, yeah. Oh, I got one with the parcels. <laughs> oh, cool. So I always cut two and put them together because it just makes it more sturdy. Now that's a good idea. So I just, you know, and you really don't have to print the second one. You could just cut the shape out. That is a, that is a really good idea, actually, that. Linda, show us what you were showing us. If you're talking, hold down your space bar, remember? I can't see what she's doing. I didn't see. Oh, little penguins, yeah. Oh, those are cute with a little reindeer hat on. Little reindeer horns. I I've got the same as Stephanie. Have you? Yeah. Great minds think alike, Bernie. Yeah. First time we've done something the same. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Where does she get that file from? Uh, Linda, she wants to, Johnny wants to know where you got the file from. Hold your thing down because you need it. No, we can't hear you. You're muted. You have to unmute yourself. I thought well, I was supposed to hold the bar down to speak. I'm sorry. Um, I just went to Google and I typed in um, penguin images. First, I went to Fabrica and I downloaded some adorable baby penguins. They were called baby penguins. I love those. I wish I wish I'd kind of done those. But um, anyway, th these are just from a, a general Google search. They and, oh. and this one said that it was um, uh, free. That you know, this was free clip art. That it wasn't. It didn't have any um, water marking on it or anything. No, that's what we have to be careful with the copyrights, haven't we? We, you know, being careful that we're not doing yep. something that we shouldn't. I'm going to use the pop-ups on my little penguins. Well, I was a bit bothered. I wondered whether to do, but I was bothered how it would affect it to fold it. So did you not use them? No, I've just glued it. I haven't tried it because I thought it would just be my look. I'd, I'll raise it all. Yeah, I, I think maybe I'll do it without too. Just... And, and, and then it, and it doesn't fold properly. I didn't want to mess it up while we were doing this. Okay, just a couple of comments here. Dee said, so interesting. Sorry, I must leave for an appointment. Well, it will be recorded. It'll be on YouTube later. Yeah, and Carmen said, I'd like to know what kind of printers y'all have. The colors are so vibrant. I have a Canon and the colors never look that good. And the last one was, oh, uh, Pink B Bonnie was able to get the uh, file off of Patreon. So, okay. Oh, brilliant. Printers, question mark? My printer's an HP uh, Inkjet 6960. Mine's an HP, mine's a, a HP Inkjet as well. Mine's a Canon, and I kind of agree with her. You'd think that Canon would be great, but they come out sometimes like almost like muddy. Hmm. I have an I have an HP, and I also have a Canon, but I find that it's not so much the the printer that I have, more so it's the effects panel that I use sometimes, as well as the type of paper that I use to print on. Whether it's an absorptive paper, like if you put a watercolor paper in, it'll probably be muddled. But I use um, that um, double sided photo mat, and I found a really good um, price on Epson paper. Anyway, I'll show, let me show, let me just real quick. It's right here. Let me show you. It's less expensive than most that I bought. It's a Epson Premium Presentation Mat. It's double sided. 
I yeah, used to I have used... some of that, but it was my HP. Pardon? Yeah, I must admit, I use um, I use a specialty of pro paper. Um, it doesn't absorb the ink, but it picks the colours up as well. Yeah. Well, I just use that um, paper that's in Patty's shop. It's uh, index paper. And that's and yours always turn out and really good, don't they? I've yeah? never had a problem. It prints, you know, it it prints the colours really well. I mean, I've bought the different photo paper and stuff every once in a while I'll use it but for the most part that's the paper I always print on me so we're going to do the centerpiece next Stephanie yeah so has everybody finished there's my mine's finished in the middle I, I, no it's not finished in the middle there is something else we've got to show you before we do the front and I haven't done I don't know whether Tammy's done the sentiment bit yes, but I will I show you Right, I'll show you how to do it. But the reason I haven't done it is because that is the part that I would probably put the sentiment on in my original card, if you look. It's that little piece in the middle. Whoops, there. And and that's probably where you would stamp or put something on. I mean, I on the back of my card is where I would put the verse and, and what I was putting, you know, writing to somebody. But this little panel, I'll show you how to, to do it but then you don't stick it on because then you can actually write or stick or put on what you want. But I'll show you how you do it. So it's your, before we go to the front, it's your last yeah. piece of, it's your last piece of um, card. And it's a piece of card stock, I think I've got it here, which is two and a half inches deep and it's six inches long. So I'll pop this up here and then you can see, this is the, the centerpiece one. Just let me make sure I measure it the way I've got the right piece. I think I have. Don't want to be doing the wrong one. Yes, it's six inches by actually mine's two and three quarters. It just said two and a half. So I'll see. I'll see what mine is because it's in the file this size. Yeah, I was going to say it. Mine is six inches by two and a half. Yeah, I th when I think about it, no, actually, one. mine is two and three quarters. Right, mine so is six to... by two. Hold on, and... I've got the thing put on there, and so it's kind of messing up. Hold on, just a second. Let me measure it again, Stephanie, to be sure. It's two and a half. It's six by two and a half. Yeah, and the thing is with this, it's it's not a hard and fast rule. The six inches is because that's the thing that's got to fit right. But if you look at the actual piece. Whoops, the piece there. Let's try to put it round so you can see it better. Right. If you wanted to make it three inches, it wouldn't really matter. You could go a bit, if you've got sort of a sentiment or something you wanted to put on, it wouldn't really matter if you did it a little bit deeper. But the six inches, it has to be because that's, it's an inch on either side here and then you've got the two inches here. So that has got to be six inches. But if you want to do it a little bit deeper, you know, because you've got a sentiment that you want to fit on, that wouldn't cause a problem. It would work. So all you have to do with this one is on the six inch side, you're just going to score it at one inch at three inch, which is your center point. And at five inches. So it's a piece of six inch card that you're going to score at one inch, at three inch, which is your centre point, and at five inch. So you've got a piece of card stock that's got an inch on either side because that's the bit that's going to fit on your card. And I'll, I'll show you how you do it, but I'm not going to stick it down, but then you'll be able to see what you do. So... First of all, you're going to burnish it. And as I say, this is the piece that you would put your sentiment on. Is I mean, you could mind? actually stick cardstock on top of it if you wanted. Tammy's done hers, brilliant. So do you want to stick it on so you can show them, Tammy? Because there's no point in me sticking it on when it's plain. Okay. Yeah. So I've never put this piece on. Mine is. Empty. Well, do you want me to? I'll show you how to do it, and then you do it. So okay. all you're going to do, I'll show you before you do it. So you folded it, so it's like this. Yep. 
and it's going to fit on there. Now, when you stick this on, this inch panel that you're sticking on, you push right up to this middle one here. Oh. You're gluing the bottom of it. Oh, okay. And you can do them. I, no, I don't do them. You can do them both at once, but don't. So you're gluing that inch panel, put it where you want it to be, and you're pushing it right up to this middle piece here. So it's pushed right up to it, and you're gluing it down. Then go over to the other side, do exactly the same, and push it right up to the thing so that it's actually it's stuck to the bottom, but it's pushed against that centerpiece. And then give it a chance just to play it. Yeah, it's a good idea using a bone fold or something so that you know you're pushing it down to make sure that it's stuck properly. And when you fold your, your card close now, that will that will fold fold up. Yeah. And when you open it now, you've got your centre panel in. That looks beautiful, actually, with that Merry Christmas. That Merry Christmas on one side, and on the other side it says, Joy to the world, the Lord is coming. Bring, it, bring it over towards you a little bit, and then we can see it, because it's yeah. just out of line. Up a little bit, and up, and the other way up. And it's upside down. There That's go. brilliant. You've got it now, yeah. That's beautiful. And then this side says, Merry, Joy to the world, and one says, Merry Christmas. That's beautiful. And I fold it in blue so it would match. It's all matchy matchy. That's beautiful. So that's what you do with the, the six inch piece. But I said that's really like sort of your personal personal thing, isn't it, that you want to put on? Yes. Oh, Linda's done as you put your centerpiece in as well, Linda. Good, yeah. Down. You through, Johnny? Brilliant. This is fun. <laughs> no, I didn't he's, he's giving yet. us our mojos back. <laughs> what did you say? He's giving us our mojos back. How are you doing, Roxana? Okay, I got a glue on. It's drying. Mine doesn't have anything on it, but I'm just trying to get it together. As long as you, well, I think once you get the idea of it, you can sort of do all the other things after, can't you? Yes. Can I ask a question? Mm hmm. Okay. What's, what size of the pink ones did you uh, size it up to? Like two inches? Yeah, um, yeah, mine are, I think, we're two and a half at the front and about two inches at the, I'll just tell you, Johnny. Okay. Two and a half inches for that one and two inches for that one. Okay. Mine are three inches. Okay. They are? They don't look Yeah. Like I made mine three inches because I wanted their little hats to hang off at the top. Yeah. Cute idea. <laughs> So and so afterwards, you can go back and put whatever you want. I think I'll put glitter on their little hats and stuff and make them shiny. By the way, Carmen said they're beautiful. And then she said, I still haven't found mine, Stephanie. What you looking for? What I miss? Yeah. I don't. Who's, who said they haven't found them? Oh, Carm. the mojo. No. Oh, her mojo. Because I, yeah, because oh. I mean, I. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, bless her. Well, let's hope she's got a mojo back when she's watched us doing this. So later. Stephanie and I called each other one day and I said, Stephanie, I've been in my craft room for hours and I haven't made anything. 
I just don't have no mojo. And she said, Tammy, I'm the same way. And so we got to talking about how we would like to make a card. And we actually made this card together. She showed me how to make it. And from then on, our mojo has been back. So maybe, Carmen, you could just call one of us and get you some mojo from us. Yeah. Well, we thought when we'd done it, we thought, you know, that would probably be nice for everybody else to join us. And it's just rather than just watching us, it's nice, isn't it, to join in? Yes. Yeah. Okay. A thumbs up, everybody that's got their thing done. All right. I see all I'm the gonna put candy up. canes around mine. I'm, I cut out some candy canes too. Well, you'll have to show us. Everybody's going to have to post the cards. When they've done them, you're going to have to post them and then we can see them all. <laughs> so now we're moving to the shaker. <laughs> so did everybody choose a background? And which one did you choose? Or did you come up with a different one? Oh, no, I'm the same as you both. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> What we did as well, it was plain, so we actually just blended a little bit of ink at the top just to give a bluey. Yeah, just a little. Up. Okay, where'd you get that? It's a free image that it's on some free clip art thing on Google. It's in okay. the file. It, okay. it posted, it posted, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. There's actually three different backgrounds that you can choose from. Okay. I can show you the one. Here's the one I done yesterday. See the background? Ah, let me turn it upside down. Let me talk to you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So that background's in there, and then there's another one in there. I know. I don't know what I've done with the other one, Tammy. I, I was when we were trying to get it sorted out. I moved the, the other background. I don't know what I've done with it. That's pretty, Linda. It yeah, Linda. it's it. I sent it to you in an email, Stephanie. So you should have it. I mean, it was yours to start with. So. Yeah, no, I don't. I know I've cut it out. And I, with when we were rushing today, panicking, trying to move everything, I've moved it because I wasn't using it, and I don't know where I put it. Hey, uh, Linda, but, but there are again. three, Joni. Um, Patty's posted three of them. Cute. I found this on uh, backgrounds. All of this was from Creative Fabrica. So, oh, I, um, oh okay. Are you going to put real snow on that, or the snow uh, rider? I'm what not me. Did you put some snow like what's that called? Snow rider? Have you ever seen that? That May May has? I haven't. I, haven't. Mm -hmm. I think it's right here. What is yeah, it? It's kind of like a jelly roll thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, pu it puffs up when it dries. Oh yeah. That sounds neat. I've got it somewhere. I don't know where it's at. That's this so, the floor All we're gonna do is glue our image to the front of our card. Well, so much for Carmen getting her mojo because she says, sounds good, exclamation mark. I'm going to take it. <laughs> but then she said, I'm going to take a nap after this. Uh -oh. <laughs> and in, and another I thing, might need one also. <laughs> yeah. Another thing, girls, before you do put your um, image on the front, double check and make sure your cards the right end up because before today, oh, I've yeah. ended up oh, having it upside yeah. down. Oh. So just make absolutely sure that your cards the right side up. That could be so frustrating. Yeah, I've, I've done that on more than one occasion. I made a card this morning, another card this morning. Oops, it's not together. It's different than the, a lot of the ones I make. Yeah. Hey, Linda, you are too quick. I never can find the spotlight. Oh, I haven't really finished it, but I'll show you what I've done so far. I just wanted to do something different. So I took a die and I cut out the die in the center of this embossed black sheet. Oh, that then, looks nice. And then under the die, I put some red glitter paper and then the, the um, sentiment I put in the insert that I cut out from the black paper. And then I just put a white base around. I've got snowflakes I'm holding on. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't have anything secured yet. <laughs> and no, then Linda, 
this is funny. This reminded me of um, girls our age. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Says, this isn't sampling. This is quality control. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> so this next part, there's one. There's different ways you can do it. I think Stephanie's going to use foam to put hers together. But myself, yep. I cut out four of the oh. frames, and I'm going to glue them together. And then I've got a top piece I'm going to put on, and that will, that that will make my shaper card. Which is brilliant, a brilliant idea, actually. Tell me that. So right now, I'm just putting my frame together. What are you doing? You're, you're putting your foam on? I'm, no, I haven't put my acetate. I've just got my frame. And I'm now oh, sticking the acetate yeah. with the red liner tape to the back of the, uh, the frame. What are the, what are the frame measurements? The, the frame is, oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. It's it's five and a half inches to cover the whole front of the card with a four and a half um inch aperture subtracted Perfect. out of it so you've got sort of like half an inch the whole way way around. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Now, when you get good at making these, what would you estimate the time it takes to make one? Um, I don't know. Tommy and I put one together in, what was it, about three quarters of an hour? Yeah, we but I'm showing you how to do it. To yes. cut it out. But it's the, it's the um, I think it's the, prep time isn't it the actual putting it together once you've got your images and everything's cut out it, it probably take half an hour three quarters of an hour absolute maximum but it's all the prep work isn't it prior to that yes <clears throat> but it's if you were not just for Christmas, but if you wanted to make somebody a really special card, it, it, it is really quite a pretty card, isn't it, to make something that little bit different. I think Linda's frame idea is really good because it's a lot less messing than putting foam down. I think she meant Tammy. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she said Linda. <laughs> I used the foam before and I didn't have really good luck with it. Everything kept sticking to it. So I said, forget that. No, I, I always rub talcum powder on the on the edges of it to stop it sticking. Because it's not just the actual um, base of the foam, but it's the sides of the foam that get sticky as well. Yes. So then when you put things in, they just stick to them. And if you rub it with talcum powder or cornstarch, it stops it sticking. And then for the, um, what do you call it, the clear? Acetate. You don't want to use glue. You want to use tape because the, the glue don't work well with the acetate. This is the most time consuming part to me is the putting the mm. acetate on. After that, it's all downhill. <laughs> I need a cloth to clean now. 
And Wendy said, beautiful. And she can't wait to try it. I guess she's watching just like me. I'm using an antistatic bag, which is adds only got talcum powder in just to go over the acetate so that it, and around the edges so that it takes away the static and it stops it sticking. Hey, I found that smell marker that uh, May May uses. And it's one of those smell it, Huh? Did you say a smell marker? <laughs> <laughs> no, a snow marker. <laughs> but you uh, you apply, apply it where you want it, and then you use a heat gun on it, and it puffs up. I think I bought one of those last year. Kind of different. Okay, Roxanna, you sound like me. You must not have used it if you think you bought one last year, right? <laughs> no, I, I used it, but I think I only used it once or twice, and it was at the beginning of uh, like Christmas season. So who knows? It's around here somewhere. <laughs> okay, you're better than me and Tammy then, because we get stuff yeah. and I forget we have it. I for sure forget. I've got all kinds of Christmas stuff up under my desk somewhere that I bought. Really should pull it out, but oh well. It's terrible though. When you do tidy up and you start moving things, it's surprising how many things you find that you'd forgotten that you got. Really is fun sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. never known anything like this so, so static oh even though i've used things to stop it they're just jumping about like jumping beans i'm still putting glue on, on i meant tape on mine i'm just about done but the bad thing is i have to do it twice Okay, now this goes on top of that. Okay, Carmen said she heard the word smell too, a smell pen. <laughs> and she also said, I bought Buffalo print yesterday and found four sheets of it today in my stash. <laughs> <laughs> That's about usually right, far right. for the phone. I did what I didn't what did she what happened? She said that she bought buffalo print yesterday and then she found oh. four sheets of it today in her stash. Oh got her. Uh, yeah. Sounds High about five. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Can't we we can all relate to Carmen? Yeah, definitely. 
I was using the tearaway kind, but I've changed my mind. I'm going for my runner. I'm tired of fooling with that other one. Don't forget to put your uh, cap on your glue, girl. You know, it dries up quick. Yep. Oh, yeah. Such a relief to get it down there because there's no wiggle room with tape. No, 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 there isn't. Now I get to add the fun stuff. Um, Stephanie, I thought you said you were going to take out the white. I was going to take the green and the and the um, red out. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered. They'll have to have. They'll have to have because they were flying everywhere when I was trying to separate them. So they, they'll have to have a mixture of green, red, and, and white. So I'm going to use glitter and glitter up my card. Because it's snowy and it's supposed to be shiny. These are what, things. How are you putting glitter on there? We can't see. You can't see it? Uh-oh. Move it up. Hot. There you go. Okay. Ah, so I've got one of those pins the glitter pins, and I'm gonna just mark it like out. Like a shimmer pin, Tammy? Yeah, that's what it is. So Stephanie has a lamp post, I guess she's going to use, which I did not give you a file for, but you can do a Google search for a lamp post, unless Stephanie, yeah. you found one that you want me to include. No, I was, I didn't, you know, to be honest with you, I didn't have time. This I bought, it was a stamp that I bought and I, um, so obviously I, we couldn't share it. It was a stamp in the stamp set that I bought and I put it in my scanner so I could take it into me, um, my software and cut it off and I was going to look but I have had a look and um, if you look for silhouettes of Victorian lampposts and um, quite a lot come up but I was just at last minute I hadn't time to do it because I think a lamppost just does add a little bit of something to it doesn't it yes I like the lamppost yeah I found a lamppost with my it was with the penguins and um it was with it was on creative fabrica I oh, brilliant! I can't find it, and I and I, I took it apart. I, you know, I released the compound pad, and I, I'm, honest, I'm telling you the truth. I cannot find it on this messy desk. I made three of them because I thought I'm going to lose one. <laughs> I've lost every one. I'm telling you the truth. Oh. You like me losing my shaker things, my pearl shaker things. Oh. You'll find them when you're not looking for them, Linda. Yeah. This is you can't miss mine. They're all over my desk. Uh, that is so frustrating. My shaker things are everywhere. I bet <laughs> I'll be picking them out of my hair. Glitter. I spilled this whole thing of glitter on my desk this morning too. Oh, oh no! Yeah, joy, joy. You need a molly. <laughs> yeah. I've seen little um, they're about that big. I've seen them, and they're like a little vacuum, look like a little desk cleaner that you do that with, and it all sucks it up into a. It's not that. That's a. That's a, a corner rounder, but it's only about that big. And you just zoom it across the desk and it picks up your glitter and everything. Yeah, but I think Linda's got one. Yeah, little okay. vacuum cleaners. And it's so cute. I, I was watching uh, Sam Calcutt. She just put one in her store and it has like a little, 
attachment that you can put in the circular area to to really get the refined glitter. Really quiet note. You hear it? Oh. We'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, these are cute. This isn't Sam's. This is just a, you know. It does work well, but I can't. I I need an industrial hose for my desk. <laughs> I that was funny, Linda. I'm old fashioned, Linda. I've still got look a dustpan and brush for mine. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I use a little dustpan and brush when I'm up. My <laughs> but a little vacuum would be a better idea. <laughs> I told. I told. I forgot to let my glue dry. Oh, I wish I could find my lantern. I am so disappointed. Oh, oh my There it is. Where is it? <clears throat> Yay. <laughs> I just found it, so that's a thank you to you. Show us again. <laughs> you lost it again. <laughs> no, no, no. No, look. Oh. <laughs> cool. Cute one. Oh, brilliant, Linda. <laughs> I cut the top off because I cut the top off and then I welded it back because the top the snow came out so grayish so then I just released the compound path and took the snow cap off and then I um you know you know how we do those things <laughs> I think Johnny was thinking my glue would set up probably as fast as hers but I'm in the south Johnny so uh the temperature is only like 60 outside. So that's why I don't have to worry about capping it right away. Well, I've had mine for a while, so I think it's about done, but it dried up. I had it lit off for five minutes and the nozzle is all clogged. Oh, oh that makes me mad. Kim said that the lamppost gives that a little detail, a little extra special touch. I think they are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Why don't you, uh, when you put your glitter in, do you put it on the face of the card? I do. Or you could always put it inside your acetate and turn your card upside down and put it on there. I would misalign everything doing it that way. <laughs> I've done it both ways. With it being a square card, it, it's not real hard. Let's see. That was right there. This card is definitely not a one stamp card. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. And did you prop your lamp up, Patty? I mean, uh, Stephanie? Yeah, this time, you know, I did the other one when I did it like this with the flame inside. Yeah. And this time I haven't. I've just done it with a little bit of acetate behind it so it looks like it's oh cool it's black. mine's got the, the yellow inside
Well, I'm as bad as Linda. I had four snowflakes. Oh, there he is. You always put them somewhere else, don't you? You don't know where you put them. <laughs> How did you secure your lamppost? I didn't see that part. How did you do what? Secure the lamppost. I used those adhesive pop-up dots. Okay, you popped your And I just used um, foam tape, just put it really thin. Jim use, says, I'm going to use a combination. I'm sorry. No, no. Kim says it's 68 degrees in Anaheim, California. And earlier, hmm, or if I can find it, Joan said they had snow in northern oh, Kentucky. We had snow last night. Not much, but it caused some problems. Who said that? Roxy. Okay. And where are you at? This again. <clears throat> hey, Tammy, can you move yours up a little bit? There you go. Goes yeah, I was just uh, okay. to get rid of some of this uh, stuff I dropped. Here's here's a big quiz for everybody. What's what's wrong with this? Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, one sec. Can you tell me what's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this card? Why does it look un? Why does it look in a kind of an inappropriate? Uh, not inappropriate, but kind of goofy. Really. Okay, what's wrong with this? <laughs> Anybody see? I don't see. I can't. It's got a glare on it. So uh, it's got, I can't yeah, glare. The trees. Is it this? Is it the sun out when it's supposed to be right. night? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought that was the moon. <laughs> That's right. It is. <laughs> well, you could have painted it, Linda. <laughs> but I didn't. This is me. All right. <laughs> anyway, it was fun. It looks like the light from the. From the lamp reflection. Right. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Maybe what I'll do is I'll turn the light, I'll turn the light off in the lantern. That's it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna fill that in. It's gonna be white. <laughs> so, because it's not on it during the day. <laughs> Oh. Wendy says it's 25 degrees Fahrenheit feels like 16. <laughs> wow. Where does she live? How's everybody doing? Hey. I lost my phone. <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing, Roxana? <clears throat> Watching you. Oh. <laughs> Wendy said she's from St. Mary's, Ontario, oh. where it's 25 feels like 16. Oh, okay. 1. 1.5 hours west of Toronto. Oh, wow. Wow. <clears throat> how many, how many miles from Toronto? 1.5 hours. Oh, okay. 
My niece lives in British Columbia in a little town called Fern. Fernie or Fern? Fernie, I think. I used to come through uh, Toronto a lot. Carmen said she's still awake. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought I just heard coyotes right outside my door, but I think it was a ambulance. But coyotes oh. do howl a lot out there. Oh, oh I found the other background, Joni. You know, we said there was three. That was the other one. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice, too. And Patty, I think... Uh, send them all to you. There was this one with the little houses, this one, and uh -huh. um, the lovely one that Tammy did. I took a shortcut and used glue instead of uh, instead of tape on the last part of putting the frame on. So I'm having to go back over it. Right. Because I was losing some sprinkles. Can't lose your sprinkles. No, you can't. <laughs> hey, Bernie. Um, Joan wants to know what time is it in Australia? It's now uh, seven minutes to nine, so nearly nine o'clock. Nine a.m. on Thursday morning. Wow, <laughs> that's so odd. And Stephanie, what time is it there in the UK? Nearly ten o'clock at night. Because we laughed about that because that's what I sent him that message. I said it'll be morning for Bernie, afternoon for you, and evening for me. Yep. And there is some confusion on my behalf. Sometimes when we talk, I'm like, okay, they're talking Wednesday, so that's my Thursday. And yeah, yeah that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I could never keep up with that. I have to always just say Eastern time, Eastern time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to wake up in a different stayed in city almost every day you know when I drove trucks and I remember every time I would wake up I'd be thinking okay what time zone is it oh, <laughs> where am I <laughs> yeah, oh yeah that too where am I and what time zone am I in because I would be like what time do I deliver my load <laughs> you know yeah. You see, here in the UK, we've only got one time zone because we're only a little place. <laughs> but oh. it's the same time wherever. Oh, that's we've nice. got and five then, in Australia. Um, it's it, yeah. Well, some it's, states like Indiana don't observe daylight saving time, so it stays the same. Yeah. Not Bernie, anymore. I, it don't oh. change for them, but it changes for people that do observe it. You know, when they come to Indiana, you have to remember... What time it is? No, it uh, it changes it, now. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh wow. We, yeah, we fall back and go forward now. Oh. And Bernie, yeah. you guys do that too, don't you? You have Only daylight in certain parts of Australia. Where I am, we do. Um, Queensland at the moment doesn't because they're up further north, so um, they don't observe daylight savings. Western Australia don't observe daylight savings so at the moment we've got five different time zones across australia but because it, it goes that way so um we on the east coast we're we're like 9 a.m but over on the west coast it's only 6 a.m <clears throat> and then up is on they're on uh queensland it's now 8 a.m South Australia's 8.30 a.m. And Northern Territory, I think, oh, man, we might only have four, one, two, three, four time zones. Wow. Well, Carmen is um, two hours behind me, I think. You're on mountain time, Carmen, or Pacific? <clears throat> I don't know if you'll make answer, but she said that uh, Arizona, she doesn't think, does the all back i know i know there was a couple of states i know indiana didn't used to they, they used to stay the same yeah they the governor changed it 
Oh, wow. It's been that way for about 10 years now. Kim said in California, it's almost 2 p.m. Yeah, and it's almost four here. She's two and hours five. behind me. Right, and five, you're yeah. an hour ahead of me. Right. Stephanie's six hours ahead of me. And I'm not even going to try to figure how far Bernie is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, raise your thumbs up if you're done with your card or as far as you're going to get with your card today. Everybody's done? <laughs> Okay. All right. You girls want to show yours and then we'll, if you, if you want to be spotlighted, you girls to show yours too, that'd be great. Stephanie, come back to your um, picture, your camera so that you can see it better. I think holding it up, you can see it better than you can. If yeah, you like it's, it it's shiny, isn't it? It's like, yeah. It's, so turn your other nice. camera back on is what I'm saying. The other one, well, it's very cloudy yeah. though, that, but I'll see if it's any better. It's not. It's a very, um, I don't know whether you can see it better. Oh, yeah, we can see. Oops. Right there. It's beautiful. Pretty. Well, that's my card. And then, oops, inside. Pretty. Okay, Is it easy to go back to your other camera as well so we can see that view also? Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a problem. I'll go back to it. Oh, that's pretty. I love all the sparkles. Beautiful. I probably picked the wrong one to sort of do it sparkly because you can't see it really well on the camera. And I'm actually in my craft room where normally I do it in my lounge where I've got daylight lamps. So I really should put daylight lamps in here. And then it shows up better on that camera than the other one because you're not yeah. getting all the glare. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's mine done. Nice. That's really nice, yeah. Thank you. I love it. Right, come on, Tammy, let's look at yours. So here's mine. Oh, that's gorgeous. <clears throat> and then here's the inside. <laughs> wow. Cute, cute. Brilliant. Cute. Very pretty, Tammy. Thank you. And you've got the centerpiece in that. Yeah, I did. I folded it and put it in there. Nice. Yeah. And it's brilliant, isn't it? How everything folds up. You wouldn't think it would all yeah. fold together, would you? Oh, so, right. Bernie? So, let me unspotlight me. And you put Bernie in here. And we want all these on Facebook. At Stephanie's. No, it's Mother's. mine. It's did you want to yes. So there's mine. So I didn't go with the shaker card, but Wait. I've got. Oh, Tell me, you 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 spotlighted me, not Bernie. Oh, hold on. On mine, I'm seeing Bernie spotlighted. Are y'all not seeing her? Now no, we've got you. No, we've got there. you now. Oh, is. now we've got Bernie. Brilliant. Oh, there, no. she's gone. Love, back to Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So mine is, I didn't go with the shaker card, but I went with, I did some snow mounds in there and just used oh. some very thin um, spaces. So, and then I, oh, there we go. And then I've put, um, I've put all of mine in behind the acetate. I may, not sure if I'll put something over the top, but I've got the mounds in there with no shaker. And that looks beautiful. And oh, I in, love it. I love it in black. Is it in black or navy blue? Yeah, it's in black. It looks beautiful. Oh, and then I've just put up. Merry Christmas on some um, round circles. And that was also in one of the penguin files. The reef thing was in one of the penguin files. So that's yes. just print and cut. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Love it, Bernie. That looks fabulous. Awesome. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's me done. Okay. Where is uh, Linda? <laughs> okay. Who wants to go next? Johnny, you want to show her? I didn't finish. I couldn't get my file to download, so I didn't get everything printed off. So, Roxana, you want to show yours? No, I know, but it's not finished because I'm like Joni. I didn't get half of my stuff put up either. But 
fault line where my glue stuck to the paper where it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful. Oh. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, and Roxanne, you've got the same things as me in the, the blue and <laughs> the green and red. You know, the little uh, shake bits. Oh, oh wow. nice. Brilliant. Yes, it's beautiful. I like that barnyard, that wood. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it looks good, Roxana. Really good. Thank you. So, Janet, you want to show yours? Okay. Hold on, let me spotlight you. <laughs> Here's the front. Aww. Oh, that's beautiful, Janet. Oh, yeah. And there's the insect. <laughs> Hold it up high. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. That's adorable. That's pretty paper. Next time I use different I love it. colors of paper. <laughs> no, My that's first pretty. one, I only used one color of paper. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's still pretty. Yeah, it's fab. So, Linda, you ready? Rock, <laughs> you yeah, it's it? beautiful. I loved it, Janet. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, I think really keen. Oh, I love these snowflakes in the across the top. That's beautiful, Linda. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, yeah. These fab. are these. I embossed the snow banks. But. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Love it. And if anybody's wondering, pretty. you can always uh, put your uh, personal note or something. You can put it on the back. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, I always do that, yeah. I Wendy, think everybody's done a fabulous job. Wendy said all the cards are beautiful. Kim said awesome. <laughs> Joni, do you know what to show where you got up to? Because you got, you did it really oh, I well. Just, yeah. I just got the inside. But it's beautiful. Oh, well, that's pretty. Uh, I'll finish it later on and I'll post it. Let, lift it up and let's have a look properly. Oh, <laughs> no, oh, there's nothing wrong super. with that. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I still just got very nice to off everything. Yep. Once you get one to see them all on our Facebook group, when you've got all your little images on, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> I love Barney behind you. No, I my husband loves Andy. <laughs> I do too. I love Barney Five. <laughs> <laughs> That just made my day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now, let's see. Can you see everybody? Yep. Yep. Righty. This was fun. Let's do it again. It was. Oh. <laughs> I love a good time. challenge. Joni, we'll have to make sure we get the pieces cut out next time, Joni. I know, right? <laughs> we might do one that's not got as many pieces next time. Yeah, we, we have yeah. A, a one that's coming up that's going to be not a card. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Okay. And Patty's going to use it for her New Year's Eve. No. So, oh. so I'm not sure the date. We can't hear you. Patty Ann's on mute. Oh, that's right. I remember what it is now. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and we have another announcement to make. This Sunday is normally DigiChicks, but Patty and I both are going to be out of pocket and Linda was going to be out of pocket. So we have decided to push it off until not yet yeah, next Wednesday, the 15th, yeah. a week from today. And then the following DigiChicks will be the day after Christmas. And we've decided, to, uh, Patty decided that we will just, you um, know, eliminate that one because people will be spending time with their family and it's Boxer Day and, and <laughs> Bernie and uh, Stephanie, so. Boxing so, Day, Boxing yeah. Day, right? <laughs> She's going Boxing Day. <laughs> boxing Day. That's what I was thinking about, what? <laughs> boxing Day. Yeah. So. Well, this was really fun. You girls did fabulous, and I love it. Was fun. I think we should do it follow. again. Yes, Definitely. I did too, Bernie. Yeah. Definitely too. Yeah. That yeah, was it was fun. fun. Yeah. All right. Or Anything even if else? it's something, just having a bring your own and do 
you know, spend a couple of yeah. hours working on something yourself. Right. Yeah, that would like be that. that would be fabulous as well. Then we can all see what each other's doing, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. And we'd really get our mojos back then. Right. <laughs> I've got to get some mojo going. I've got yeah. three shirts to make and oh bless oh. you. Two tumblers and uh two different canvas things. Ah. Boy. Bye tomorrow. Oh, oh. get on it, girl. Oh, all right, we better go. Okay. Yep. All right. Take Take care, bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.